Like, it gets better when you're an adult. You don't have to deal with this fucking shit anymore. So. Hey everyone, it's Candy, and oh my goodness, I, can you believe that I have been filming for like 15 minutes and look up, no it wasn't 15, I'm totally exaggerating, um, I had been filming for a, co a few minutes and then it tried to auto turn off, it said auto time off, I'm like what, and it wasn't recording, so anyhow, today is my 37th birthday, I cannot even believe I made it to 37, or I can't even believe that I am 37, or I mean I look at myself and I'm like girl you look 17. Not really. I mean, yeah, I do think I look younger than 37, but that's here nor there. So, um, I went and had lunch with some of my favorites today, and, um, of course, I was, there's always some kind of customer service issue, it seems like, when I'm involved, um, but that's whatever. I didn't let it rain on my parade, but another one of my friends had said, hey, if you go to Target this weekend, can you look for this, like, sand pail or whatever, um, for her son's birthday so I was in the plaza and I was like well why not I'll just go look or whatever so I did and there's always an excuse to like look at clothes instead of a Target because you all know half of my wardrobe is from Target so um I uh I, so anyhow I was in Target and I saw this mother and her daughter and like I got that like I got a feeling like a vibe or whatever and um and I, from what I had gathered, I had just, you know, heard her talking about, like, it was, it was her, um, high school, not high school, it was her middle school, not middle school, shit. She was going into, like, junior high, so it was, like, a graduation. Sorry, guys, I'm driving. Um, she was going into junior high, so, um, whatever, she was a young teenager, whatever, and, um, and her mom was like trying you know she picked out a dress she liked I guess but they only had like an extra large and her mom's like oh that should probably fit you because you know you're extra large basically um go ahead and try it we'll try it take it home if it doesn't work we'll bring we'll bring it back we usually have to do that for you anyhow you know that kind of thing or whatever so um the girl's like oh, okay and then later in the store I see him near the shoe section I'd went in there because well, it doesn't matter. I mean, I went there to look at shoes. And, um, uh, the... Sorry, I'm parking. I feel so weird. I don't even fucking... I don't talk on my phone and drive. So, I just had to get this off my chest because I was thinking about it. It was still fresh in my mind. Um, but the girl, um, the young girl, the young girl... They were looking at shoes, and she's like, tell them all. I, I, the only reason I even noticed it is because she's like, sorry. She's like, um, but mom, why did? And the mom, like, screw, it's like, you're like, it's this or nothing. You're not getting anything. It's this or nothing. And she's like, but I don't like the way they make my, I don't like the way they make my feet look. They just, I just don't like the style of it. Or, or, well, you're, you're not going to look like trash. You're going to look like, yeah, you're going to remember. And you know, I had all, I've been having, I'm having a great day. Like, I'm telling you, and I tell you, this is the best birthday in, I mean, I've had some good birthdays. I have some great friends that always make it really good. But, like, I don't know. I feel good this year. Like, I feel like so many burdens have been lifted off of me by um, keeping my boundaries and positive thinking and things like that. So, um, I don't think about my mom very often. And it made me think about her. And, I mean, I did a little bit today anyhow because it is my birthday. And she always would talk about how, I don't know, she was in labor with me for like 57 hours or some long story and how she shipped me out and then sometimes she says I was switched at birth or I, I don't really know she's crazy so I guess the whole point is it reminded me of my mother and not only my mother it actually reminded me of my stepmother too my dad's second wife well really third wife but in my life my stepmother only stepmother and um my stepmother was the same way and with all of us, you know, except for I think the youngest one, um, she allowed her to, well, actually her youngest two children, she allowed to do whatever, but me, my sister and I, which weren't her kids, she kind of did the same thing too, like everything had to be, we weren't allowed to have any choice on like our outfits or, I guess because I was fat, I wasn't worthy of wearing cute clothes, um, but her, my youngest sister, her other daughter's fat too, and she let her do whatever she wanted so I guess just because I wasn't her kid that's where I got that from and then my mom I was never worthy of having anything cute because my mom's a fattest so it just brought a lot of emotions back and it's not even that the girl the, the girl was she was normal you know straight size as we call it um but it was just an insecurity she had about the shoes and her feet and she didn't like the style and whatever it was and you know I just need you all to remember that 
just because you like something or you think something looks right or you think it's okay, someone else may not always be comfortable in it. So just kind of remember that and keep that in mind whenever you're trying to like force your kid to wear something or force your kid to conform to something. Sometimes really we're allowed to have our own self and our own opinion. And it's, I mean, I understand that there are, you know, boundaries and stuff, but you know, loosen them a little bit for that stuff because that's how people become who they are. And when you limit that and when you tell them this is how it's going to be, like you're running a Gestapo and you just don't know what you're doing to that kid later on in life. And I filmed some of it as we were trying to get through the store. I don't know if you'll all be able to hear it. Probably not. But basically, she's yelling at her and telling her she's being a little bitch as she's going through the store. And no, leave it. I'm done. You're not getting anything. No, you're not getting anything. Leave it. I'm done. You think you get something because you're acting like a little bitch in a store? She's pointing out, do you see anybody else acting like a little bitch in a store? And that's how she's talking to this kid. That's how her mother is talking to her. There's a time and a place for everything and there's a time to not humiliate your children in public because there's a reason why later on in life they're scared to go in public because they've been humiliated by you so many times. So stop and think next time you decide to humiliate somebody, whether it's your child or your sibling or a friend or whoever in public, just, just remember like you're not right all the time and your way is not the only way. Um, I used to be like that actually and that's why I can like look at both sides of the fence I can honestly say like and I understand sometimes you don't even realize you're doing it but you need to stop and check yourself and think about it and and you'll realize that you're doing things that like really are bullying um I ended up getting behind her in a line at some point and it's so funny when she went to the cashier she's all like oh, like she's the best mother ever such a chameleon such a good sociopathic liar she's at the fucking cash register the the cashier all like <laughs> I know, like and I she I'm so proud of her she's graduating and oh yeah and like talking with the cashier like fucking psycho mommy dearest that's exactly what it reminded me of Anyhow, I triggered some memories of my childhood, and I just thought I would share because that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm about to go into Ulta and spend some money, girl, because you know, you know, um, if they have anything. I get my birthday gifts and stuff like that here today, whatever, so I'm pretty excited about that, going to the movies and dinner with my fiance tonight, tomorrow getting a tattoo and going to eat with one of my friends, and I think Sunday we're going to go to an art exhibit at the Botanical Garden, so I've got a full weekend packed, so... You may not hear from me until the middle of next week, I'm not sure. But I just wanted to share that experience with you and how I'm feeling, guys, because it's just, I felt really sad for that girl. I wanted to go up and give her a hug and tell her, like, it gets better when you're an adult. You don't have to deal with this fucking shit anymore. So I wish I could have, but then she probably would have called the cops on me. I don't know. I was afraid she was going to yell at me for, I didn't, I don't know if she saw me filming or I don't think she did. I was actually kind of nervous to, like, I probably should have just not even cared. I'll get to that point at some point, but. I was a little nervous. I didn't want to, like, get in a confrontation with her on my birthday, you know? All right. So, that's all, guys. Uh, I will see you later. Mwah! Bye. Why?